the continuation of the DCU Future Series Part 2. Ava DuVernay and New Gods. P, I don't hear much. I hear all the other things that she's doing. We got Wonder Woman 1984 that's been held up due to the uh, due to the uh, pandemic. We got Aquaman that still hasn't done filming because of he got into an accident or I, 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 don't, I, I don't know. Uh, he got something, so it got it got pushed before there was a pandemic. So now you know all the other studios that know. Listen, no more pushing. Either do this film when we schedule it, or get going. Because now you know, you don't never know in this world. You just can't take it for granted that everything will fall in place. You can't do that now. We live in a we live in a brand new world again. But um, there's a quote you guys can quote mm-hmm. me. So we got Aquaman that was pushed. But what do we have on the ringer? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the next big one we got Shazam. Part two and Black Adam. Let's talk about this. Mm-hmm. That's the next two big ones on the on the hook. Shazam Part Two, I think maybe with a little bit more money and a better writing, mm-hmm. Shazam can upgrade. Shazam film yes. can upgrade, ladies and gentlemen. They really need to upgrade. Black Adam, I have no yeah. idea what we are going to be facing. I know it looks like The Rock mm-hmm. wants to fight the entire DC universe. Yeah. <laughs> and just come out and and, and, let, and then tell you he's going to win. Yeah. Okay. So then, why am I seeing your movie? Uh, sounds like Thanos to me. Yeah, it sounds like. <laughs> why am I seeing your movie when you told us I could take on everybody? Well, wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. Is this a film or an ego yeah, trip? Yeah, man. Yeah. Wow, this is a tightrope. Not really. Warner Brothers will allow him to do what he wants, and now uh, Black Adam film will fall into the other categories. Will the public go, what is this? He made a home video? Apparently so. <laughs> is, there, is there any continuity? Uh, who knows? Does it fit yeah. into the current DC universe? I don't know. I'm looking forward to Shazam 2. I don't expect much from Shazam 2, because if they go with Dr. Sivana, the little worm and stuff... Okay. Oh my God! I'll take my kid back to see that. When you saw Thanos, even if this was the first time you've seen Thanos, you're gonna be like, "Who is that?" But me really seeing um, Shazam for the first time in his own thing, and seeing that character end come out, me being the first time watching that, I was like, "This looks ridiculous." <laughs> Oh, man. If we get that in Shazam 2, that will be the end of the Shazam franchise. That's over. It's over now. And you'll just have to get him to guest star if they're going to actually try to reboot the Justice League. Other than that, if you make the character that worm, forget it. It's over. This is kid-friendly. So if that's the market for Shazam, you really don't want to escalate him into the big boy thing? Okay, I get that. Wow. If Aquaman can make a bill, you could have did better for Shazam. Mm. I mean, there's some critics yeah. on YouTube who love that movie, and I'm like, I, okay. Right. You know, he, okay, he's not he's not T'Challa. He's not Tony. I, I mean, I get that. You know, he's not the mm. Odin son. I mean, I get that, but there's just something a little hokey. Is that the right word? There's something a little yes. hokey <laughs> about this. <laughs> yeah. The Shazam That's exactly how I felt about the it. The Shazam that drove around the country with the old man in the trailer, you couldn't even do that today, ladies and gentlemen. Are you kidding me? Yeah. But the but that was it had a little bit more maturity because I guess it was geared toward teenagers. This Shazam seemed like it was geared toward preteens. Am I getting this right? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean when I was in the theaters watching it. There were teenagers in there, and they seemed to enjoy the movie. I was like, okay, they, I mean, it's for them. It's almost my like... Daughter came get, my daughter can't get me to watch a teenage show. I I, I can't watch... Say oh, no, I, no, I can't no, do it. I can't, I can't do, do it. I can't do it. I, I can't. I can't. Oh, my <laughs> you know, God. I did that already. I, I I'm sorry. I can't do this anymore. I, I got to watch I say, yeah, some I, adult stuff. And I, that's, just, that's just me as an older, mature person. Shazam wasn't that. I mean, we sat there and, um, you know, 
And I just kept looking at her. Do you look back at me? I said, but the fact that when I look at her and she can look back at me, that means this movie wasn't grabbing her attention. And yeah. you got to take that, ladies and gentlemen, you got to take that as signals. Now, going forward, yeah. the big one, the one I want to say for last, ladies and gentlemen, and I tricked you. You thought I was going to talk about the Batman. No, ladies and gentlemen, I need to talk about the Flash. <laughs> Ezra Miller done lost his mind. Ezra Miller, you done blipped up, boy. You done messed this up. This is the out they were looking for. And not even so this much just the for the out. Flash. They're talking about They're this might be the out for Fantastic Beasts. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, if you Yikes. don't know, Mr. Miller was on location for Fantastic Beats in Iceland. I had to get it correct. They were in Iceland. And apparently they went out and with the cast or the crew or something and they're goofing around. or they're, And somehow, listen, somehow, some way, somebody got choked. <laughs> and, and it was somebody got choked and it was filmed <laughs> on phone, you know. The new police, the iPhone, the iPhone cops got you. <laughs> Yo, next thing you know, this man's career is basically, we don't know. And I, we don't know what's going to happen, but I guess because of the corona, if there was no corona yeah. right now, he would have been fired the day after that, that thing jumped yeah. off. And ladies yeah. and gentlemen, let's stick to the whole topic. The Flash was scheduled and canceled. Scheduled and canceled. You lost one director. You lost the next director. You lost the next director. Yeah. Why? Mm -hmm. What was going on at DC? Well, we knew. The president who greenlit BVS, Man of Steel, BVS, Justice League, Suicide Squad. I don't want to say his name wrong because it is Japanese. But he's gone. Mm -hmm. He made his producing fee. He's gone. So now we're in a new world with Wonder Woman, Aquaman. Now you got Shazam, and now you got the Black Adam movie coming out, and then we finally get back to what are we doing with the Flash? Ladies and gentlemen, Pablo, you was one of them. We always thought the Flash could be used to reboot the DC universe. You can do yeah. the Flashpoint storyline, and you can basically, and whether Zack like it or not, or the Zachafites like it or, like it or not, you can yeah. reverse everything that happened, and not everything. You can yeah. change things. That's why Steve Trevor can come back. Just let the Flash do mm -hmm. his thing, run through the multiverse. We got a whole new DC mm -hmm. universe just like that. Mm -hmm. But how do you feel yes. we might get a new Flash? I already know how I felt about Ezra Miller being the Flash. I didn't like the interpretation. I thought they tried to make the Flash mm -hmm. Peter Parker. I thought they tried to make Ezra Mil yeah. Miller, not even Tom Holland's Peter Parker. They tried mm -hmm. to make Ezra Miller uh, Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. And that's how yeah. I saw it. I call it a controversy or call it a mistake. He made a mistake and it may have bitten him. Because why would Warner Brothers be putting out press clippings if we have to go on without him? We will. Wow. Wow. That got to make your agent nervous. I'm sure Warner Brothers wanted someone else to play this role, but Ezra Miller, you know, he was making money for Warner Brothers. And he's contracted with the uh, Harry Potter stuff. So you think that yeah. they wanted to even get they rid of him? They tried to keep him happy. No, but mm -hmm. you think Warner Brothers wanted to wash Ezra Miller away after Justice League? That They, they, they were like saying, listen, we got to just wipe the whole oh, yeah. Schneider thing away. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you put out a survey to see how many people liked Ezra Miller as Flash and how many people uh, didn't, yeah, I already know several. I think the majority would be that Ezra Miller wasn't well received. Yeah. I'm confident of that. Yeah. And it had nothing to do with the color of his hair, boys and girls. But um bum. And it had nothing to do uh, with that uh <laughs> Barry Allen was supposed to be a young forensic scientist, not a teenage book is is this Barry Allen or is this Peter Parker? Ryan Gosling, yes. ladies and gentlemen, yeah, was supposed was to be the Flash. Bottom yes. line, but if you he can't get if you can't perfect. get Ryan to do it, and when I say Flash, I said Barry Allen's Flash. You can still get somebody else to be Wally West's Flash. You know who could be Wally West's Flash? Listen, man. The kid from Supernatural. He could be Wally West's Flash. He's perfect. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. 
Ryan Gosling can still be the Flash for two movies. He could, Kill him yeah, off, he, you got Wally West. He could be Ryan Gosling could be Barry Allen, the Flash. That movie would make a billion damn dollars. Yes. Easy. Yes. Just like back in the day. But don't give me a solo Flash that is on his own world. I don't want that. I don't want that. No, I, yeah, I'll still watch yeah, it. I'll still go yeah. pay my money. But the letdown would be is like this is this is just what it is and that's it is over. Because once again, that would be Warner me. Brothers not being able to professionally connect the dots and fix their universe because they're they're strident in their their approach of having the directors have creative control. You don't do that yeah. the MCU, but you don't see the MCU running bankrupt now, do you? There is something wrong, boys and girls. What is it? Two of these kids are doing the same thing. One of these kids is not the same. Figure it out. This ain't hard to figure out. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not. And that's not a shot. No. But that might be an observation. Not a shot. Not everything yeah. is a shot. Something can also be an observation. And the reason why we brought up the Flash, boys and girls, not only because it's a hot point in the uh, social media platforms, Matt Reeves blew the internet up. Ladies and gentlemen, the movie The Batman will not be set in an alternate universe in the 1990s. Matt Reeves, The Batman, will be set modern day DC Universe. Pete, we think that this is the beginning of fixing. And this is not a rumor, correct? This is not a rumor. Matt Reeves announced it okay. that the Batman will be set in modern day. Maybe this is how you tie the soul together. You got you got black back with blue with Superman. You got to do Superman. Yeah. You got to get Superman. Yeah. Bad thing is, Gal Gadot yeah. said she'll do one more Wonder Woman, and then she says she's done. Yeah. So get your get your Kleenex yeah, and you out for can, that. And, and you can listen to um, our Batman rated R. I think we we dive a little bit into to this. This this could be the beginning of something we've been wanting to see. Uh, and uh, and I said it in and I think I think in that in that episode in Batman rated R that if this is successful as we think it might be, he might get approached of being the guy to be the producers of these other films that fall in line. In that universe that he is about to create, maybe. But we still got uh, Mr. James Gunn and Mr. J.J. Abrams over there reorganizing the DC film mm -hmm. property. J.J. Uh, Abrams, mm -hmm. Justice League Dark, while it was being pitched to be a movie, Gail Del Toro, blah blah blah. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like guess what? HBO Max is headed to HBO Max. I guess people are gonna subscribe. I guess every I guess the streaming wars continue. We caught the streaming wars four years ago. Yeah. Didn't we? <laughs> yeah. We sure did. Yep. But I, I'm not yep. gonna pick they up really want, they, they really want to get subscribers. They if they really want to get a lot of subscribers, release the Snyder Cut on HBO Max. And then after people watch the show, they unsubscribe. I don't know if people knew that. That's what happened with Disney yeah. Plus. Oh, there's the there's the reverse of that. Once you get yeah. to see what you saw, that's what happened with Disney with DC as well. People unsubscribe. You mean DC Universe? Once the Titans was over yeah. and you saw it enough, unsubscribe. The Swamp Thing yeah. series was good. It really was different. Yeah, it they, reminds you they, of an old because they have they have money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah. That's they had money, money that they, they didn't know that they were paying this amount of money for. There was a big fiasco. They let it run, but that's it after that because they were spending way too much money. Pete, look at who was in that Swamp Thing DC Universe series. They had some great actors. They had a couple of people from Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. I mean, they had some, it, yeah. it, and it was an offbeat, off tale. It was different. It was it was uh, yeah. New or New Orleans, New Orleans. It was New Orleans. Witchcraft, yeah. the whole it was it was mm -hmm. a different. It was like a, a twilight. It was it was great. It was great. It's too bad yeah. that that money couldn't have been applied to Constantine, because that guy was to have his own yeah. show. But then they got Lucifer, so now he's yeah. sitting over in the Lucifer show. And before we even wrap this whole up, 
Um, I personally, I don't know where the CW uh, DC shows are going. Uh, I have my pre- premonitions about uh, Batwoman, Supergirl, The Flash, and Legends of Tomorrow. And the Superman and, the and up and coming what, what's it called? Uh, Superman and Lois. Superman and Lois. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I have a question for you. You've said that Warner Brothers has made the mistake of allowing people to just do whatever they want. Yeah, cre- right? Creative control. Complete creative control. Complete creative control. Yeah. Why is this a different matter altogether when we speak of Matt Reeves and his uh, and, and his Batman because he, he needed to have creative control in order to do this movie? Well, he asked for that. He yeah, he did. I, was, I read the article too. I read some of the articles. Um, I think I think I get and I, I got to look at this from the business point. When they say, when they gave Matt Reeves creative control of Batman, Batman's going to be Batman. But there's also mm-hmm. elements of Batman that will not apply to creative control because Michael Uslan owns the film rights mm-hmm. to Batman. And he, you know, he's, because he, mm-hmm. he, listen, he bought them when you, you couldn't even give them away. Ain't that so funny back in the 80s? <laughs> Ain't that so funny? I got these film rights. You couldn't yeah. even give it to nobody. Why? Because they were coming up the 1960s. Can't be Adam West Batman. You, a Batman make a movie. That was, come on, man. Before Tim Burton came and did what he did, you could have gave Batman f- film right with Batman. You would have thought the 1940 serial again and said nobody's going to pay for that. But anyway, mm-hmm. I digress. Yeah. There's certain elements of Batman <laughs> that while Warner Brothers will say you have creative control, he must have a bat on his chest. He must have a costume. There are certain things there's nothing to even talk about because of the of the ownership of Batman will complain. So you will not have Batman dressed like Dick Tracy walking around. See, it, and that's what I mean. So while they yeah. gave you creative, but you can only go so far because Batman, who's got the greatest role gallery? Batman or Spider-Man? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Pretty much all of his rogue is 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 oh, more special. famous. Huh? His rogues gallery are more famous. Yes. But then who got a better rogues gallery? Rogues gallery, the X Men, the Fantastic Four, or the Avengers? And I say that's kind of not fair because some of their rogues slip in between all of them. Yeah. Like Doctor Doom's is everybody's villain. So yeah. by doing it by team, doing it by teams is not right. Doing it by individuals is always the case. Batman or Spider Man? I would say Batman's rogues gallery are just more famous. Yeah. Because while I may know Doctor Octopus, a lot of people don't know the Chameleon. Yeah. And while I may know the Joker. People know the Green Goblin, yeah. but people don't know the Tarantula. Yeah. Say the who? Yeah, that's a Spidey villain. He's got points on his feet. And, yeah. and while you may know the Sandman, people know Clayface. I mean, yeah. It, it, yeah. It, it, and you can't say that Batman ripped off Spider-Man and Spider-Man ripped off Batman. No, not really. No, no, no. not really. Yeah. No. And, and while They're Spider-Man has the lizard. Characters. They're all unique characters. Yes. Yeah. Spider-Man may have the lizard. But Batman got Killer Croc. Yeah. But Spider Man doesn't have a sidekick. But then Spider Man got Black Cat. Batman got Bat Bat Girl or Catwoman. Yeah. There's some things that bounce. Yeah. And but DC's, I don't want to. And DC's been double double dribbling for a minute. Yeah, well, double dribble, <laughs> walk, not even double dribble, walk. <laughs> so that's where we are, ladies and gentlemen. We're starting this whole little uh, new series. In uh, in appreciation to all the uh, fanfare and the good comments that came from our MCU Future Series, we're doing the DCU Future Series. Later on in this series in particular, we might individualize. We might start talking about one topic. We might be talking about DCU Future Series, The Martian Manhunter. I'm just yeah. throwing that out there. You never know. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe John Jones gets a movie. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. You you might say John Jones get a movie. Listen, Shang Chi is getting a movie. Hello. <laughs> you could have never ever told me that. Yup. 
MCU can do whatever they want. James Gunn, The Suicide Squad. I don't know. And not because Will Smith is not in it. He's really going hokey with it. Too much with his Suicide Squad. But now James Gunn is turning the Suicide Squad a little a little hokey to me. It, it, I mean, guys are wearing big costumes with big yellow and blue. And that might be great for cosplay and the conventions. God knows we've seen everybody out there. But to be in a film and to be taken seriously. And Amanda Wall is in it. Amanda Wall is in this? And like, for um, real? Viola? Yeah, Viola's in this movie. Okay, okay. okay. I mean, she's and these great. guys dressing up like... Yeah, oh no, she's great. And these guys dressing up like this? Question. Really? Question. Yeah. Is there a scenario where, you know, James Gunn is doing this Suicide Squad, right? And everybody's looking yeah. forward to it. Let's say it goes, I think it's going to do a little better than Birds of Prey, but if it doesn't meet their expectations, if Marvel looks at this, because uh, would you think that uh, James Gunn doing the Suicide Squad, you think easy billion dollars? Or no. Or... For WB, you think they're not thinking about a billion dollars? I would advise them as of right now, don't. All right, but does it put James Gunn in a position where if he doesn't get even near, let's say he does 600, five or 600. Let's say he does that. Well, that'd be a letdown because David Ayer's Suicide Squad made more money. All right, let me so ask you happened? this. Do you think Marvel... No, Marvel's going to push. No, 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 Marvel's going to do Guardians three. They're going to wrap it up, tie it up. The one thing that okay. I'm, I, I'm sure Kevin Feige will insist that was not insisted on Guardians of the Galaxy two. He will have to do a lot of universe building in yes. Guardians of the Galaxy three. Sorry, yes. you not, had your one. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, you yes, had yes. your one little pet project. There will the be next more, one. There will be more say in what happens in this next one. You, you're absolutely right. They let you do your movie, and it made eight hundred. You stayed level. You stayed level. You didn't surpass it. And I'm sure you can say whatever you want. I'm sure the people at Disney said, "Damn, we thought he'd have broke a bill, but why didn't he break a bill?" I could have told the board of directors. You know why he didn't break a bill? Because I didn't see Thanos until the after credit screens of that movie. I went through this whole movie of just them, and you guys kind of find out that guess what? Rocket really isn't the big draw that you guys thought he was going to be. He really he didn't turn out to be the big draw. That's why when they talk about yeah. Rocket get get his own movie, nobody's gonna see that. I'm sorry. Yeah, he does well nah. as as is. That side yeah. character. That side character. B baby Group was cute. Baby Group, then Baby Yoda showed up. I can't up. watch that joint for the whole joint. Nope, I can't watch that for the whole movie. I can't movie. watch that. I and now Groot, I'm sorry. Everybody's going to get tired of it at some point. Thank you. And the more we stay away from it, because we've been away from the Marvel Universe for a while now. We ain't never been away this long. It's almost going like on cold turkey. But certain things get re-envisioned and re-realized. You know that, and I know that. Certain things get changed. We start looking at Rocket and Groot and go, mm-hmm. Uh, I, I think that Nebula, Nebula, is a little bit more important or a little bit more interesting to me now than Gamora. Mm -hmm. I'm a little more interested oh, yeah. in Nebula now. Oh, yeah. Things oh, change. Yeah. That's Things why everybody change. was hoping. That's why everybody was hoping for that moment that Gamora had the gauntlet. Everybody was hoping. You mean for Nebula? That moment. When and, Nebula yeah. got the gauntlet, and, and, yeah, and, yeah. And, and we never got it. We never got it. Yeah, we never got that. The minute she could have changed herself, like she did in the book, that would have been a classic uh, retake. The DC Universe. It looks like there might be change. It looks like they may be planting seeds. I am not. And I, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not predicting you. You don't go by me. You guys see me in the street. You can throw a rock. The Suicide Squad, everybody loves Idris, but I don't see what this is. I don't see where this is going. You got Amanda Wall in it. You got Viola in it. That's a staple. She'll be there. Maybe Idris will still be there. Holly will still be there. And I guess right now, the way Margot Robbie's feeling, she's probably just honoring her contract. 
The minute she might be able to get out, she might get out. It'd be too like, bad, Trey, though. I, I think she yeah. she was a great Harley Quinn. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. She was. I mean, they 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 gave her money to do this other film. Oh, she got her own money, to, and they gave her the pass. Go do it, right? It didn't work out. They were forcing they were forcing us too much, right? Um, but I was gonna ask you, Trey. Come on, how you gonna make? Uh, I don't know how King Shark is gonna look. Oh man. <laughs> that, that yo talk about rolling the dice I don't know how they're gonna make this look good believable am I gonna laugh at it I shouldn't be able to laugh at King Shark I'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry I mean uh, I'm sorry I mean and, and, and it looks like uh, unless unless let me tell you something if James Gunn surprises me and this looks like a Quentin Tarantino movie, okay, you got me. I'm in. Yeah. But if this is a James Gunn thing and there's goofballs and pull my finger and... <laughs> uh, I mean, because now, now that I go back and I look at the first Guardians of the Galaxy, that chasing each other around the water fountain, oh my God. <laughs> like, oh God. And then the this dance almost off. Feels, and then the almost, dance off. Oh my god! This, <laughs> oh my god! This feel. You know what this feels to me? It's gonna have that same vibe as uh, yeah, Batman, as Guardian, Batman for no Batman Forever. Are you still- <laughs> <laughs> Was it I forever the not. one with um on with Arnold Schwarzenegger? I hope not. I, oh, oh my God. Everybody freeze. Oh, no, no. Oh. Yo, everybody, every, oh. Every, every, every 10 I hate years, to we got to get, our, uh, we gotta we get, get one of these, right? I hate to walk out of a movie, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to walk out and immediately in the lobby, get on my phone. What the f- <laughs> Word up, word up. This uh, this doesn't look good, but we just yeah, gotta see what happens. Me. I mean, I don't, James I don't Gunn. Know, I don't know. I don't know. And you know what? And if and if James Gunn didn't pick Suicide Squad, he could have picked Green Lantern to reboot the Green Lantern series. But it would have been like it would have been like Star Lord and Rocket. He'd have had yeah. them tro- troping around. I, and not for nothing, yeah. I kind of want, I kind of would rather have Macquarie the way he does the Mission Impossible for a Green Lantern movie. I mean, hokey is hokey, and I get that he's saying, oh, it's the genre. Yeah, but sometimes I, I like something a little bit serious, I, 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 yeah. a little seriousness. Not, I mean, but I'm not talking for the general audience. A lot of people like that. It might make budget, just like with Birds of Prey. But just like what I'll tell Warner Brothers, you're rolling the dice. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. you call it, that's a dice roll. That's a dice roll yeah, partner. Man, How much money y'all putting into this? Man. How much money you putting into this? And you're gonna put what a hundred, a hundred mil on the uh, marketing? Okay. <laughs> Let's yeah. hope that the world goes for hokey this year. And all, all, all the ships that see this, listen. You know what happens with hokey? You'll see it once, and that's it. There's no return ability yeah, yeah, at all. Yeah. No. I saw it. When the next time you're gonna see it? Oh, when it comes on, whatever. Maybe Netflix will get it. No, Netflix is not getting it anymore. Oh, well, yeah. That's right. Oh, that's right. That's right. Netflix won't get these type of movies anymore. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Spivey4994 over at ACAT News with Pablo Say Tri Solano with Nerd Generation. And we're going to sign off. But we are looking forward to the future of the DCU. See what kind of surprises, what kind of endings, what kind of upheavals that we are looking forward to. I'm really looking forward to Batman. I think Matt Reeves, yeah. just looking at the Planet of the Apes, I think that's going to be a home run. Uh, P, any last words? I just hope that there's more to it than just those three films that we, we probably may get or will get. Uh, so, um, nah, and I just want to say thank you to all the people who have been liking, uh, the, the shows. I've been getting a lot of good feedback, um, people, you know, commenting and people listening and, and I really appreciate it. We really appreciate it. And we hope you guys continue, uh, you know, listening to what we got to say. Uh, once again, everybody, please stay safe, stay strong, and we'll see you the next time.